I want to talk about the relationship between liver damage and estrogen in men. What is the connection? I'm going to go through different aspects. There are quite a few men out there with liver damage and they don't know it. And they're starting to get symptoms of too much estrogen. And anytime you build up too much estrogen, you get a decrease in testosterone. So gynecomastia, breast tissue is one of the symptoms. Red palms is another symptom of liver cirrhosis. Decreased libido, erectile dysfunction, and spider nivy, okay, which is these little red dots on your skin that have these little tiny um, like spider veins. And they can be random on the abdomen, on your back, on your thighs. It's just a symptom that you have too much estrogen. You can also start losing body hair. Your voice can actually get a little bit higher. These are all symptoms that you have too much estrogen compared to testosterone. So we got the liver right here, and we have various things that are triggering either a fatty liver or cirrhosis. The thing you need to realize is you don't just end up with cirrhosis one day. It takes years of development, and there are different stages before you get there. You might have inflammation and then a fatty liver, and then that turns into scar tissue, and it's a little bit more and more and more and more. Um, and some of these symptoms can develop way before you get actual cirrhosis itself, which is more of an end stage scarring of the liver. And when you have scarring of the liver, you have all sorts of things like, one thing is called portal hypertension because there's so much resistance to the liver that the blood, the venous blood coming into the liver is backed up. So we're getting this high level of pressure and that creates a lot of other complications. Chronic drinking of alcohol is a very common cause of this. So no more than a six pack on the weekends for that. Now, insulin resistance has now been officially recognized as a primary cause of cirrhosis. And I think probably 65, maybe 70% of the population has this and they don't even know it sometimes because they don't test it. And by the way, if you want to get a test for this, it's called HOMA IR. Okay. HOMA IR is a really good test to determine if you have this right here. It's like a pre pre diabetes state. Diabetes itself can create this and hepatitis. So, and there's other causes as well. But let's take a look at why estrogen is going up when the liver is damaged. First of all, you get impaired detoxification. And so the liver is not able to get rid of the buildup of estrogen because this, this liver cells are basically dying. You don't have enough of those hepatocytes to deal with this estrogen overload. So that's one thing right there. Also, because the liver is involved with making proteins, you have altered neurotransmitters in the brain. And there's going to be alteration in dopamine, which is then going to increase prolactin, which is a hormone. And if you're a guy, you don't want a high level of prolactin because that triggers another hormone in your hypothalamus that eventually triggers other hormones in your pituitary that will shut down your testosterone levels as well as your production of sperm. Now, there's also something else in the liver that helps to buffer excessive amounts of certain hormones. It's called sex hormone binding globulin. And what that will do if it increases is you'll get less free testosterone as well as increased estrogen. Okay, so now we have this ratio that's just completely out of control. Now, if someone is overweight and they have a lot of extra fat, the fat cells can actually make estrogen. And there's an enzyme called aromatase in your body that can also take that last bit of androgen that you have, that last bit of testosterone, and convert that into estrogen. So as you can see, there's a lot of things that can happen if the liver is not doing its job. So don't wait to get diagnosed as a fatty liver or cirrhosis. Start cutting down on the alcohol, if not get rid of it completely. Do things to get rid of insulin resistance. I put a link down below if you're new to my channel on that, and that will help this right here. And I also have a video on hepatitis. I put that link down below as well. 
a couple things that can help uh, inhibit this enzyme right here. Cruciferous vegetables. I would highly recommend start consuming a lot of cruciferous vegetables. Milk thistle is probably one of the best herbs to strengthen the liver cells themselves. And stinging nettle root is another powerful inhibitor of this enzyme right here. So that way we can start to turn things around and increase your testosterone as you decrease your estrogen. Hey, before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself and so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.